hello students welcome welcome to mgm educations this is all about your ge paper 2 plus 3 governance issue and challenges and here we are going to discuss about e governance its significance and the benefits of e governance well students this is a modern concept of electronic age okay now i am going to explain it and those students who are new to this channel please subscribe to get the other notes of relating to this course let us first discuss the meaning of e-governance right well student governance is a process or a system by which administration is being carried on it is known to all but e-governance is a modern concept right and it is a short form of electronic governance right here information and technology plays a very important role so a governance through the use of information and communication technology is said to be e-governance right and it is used to refer the performance of government functions through the application of ICT the most well-known part of which is the internet and the term e-governance refers to the government process here how the information is circulated and how through internet uh, on the basis of data entire administration is being carried on now we will discuss about what are the benefits that the citizens of a nation are likely to get when we adopt this uh, or follow this uh, uh, system of governance ready start now see students the first benefit or the significance we will together combine it is number one administrative processes are made mechanized and computerized so this is a greatest advantage we have because our database will continue for a long time and whenever we want we can refer so the paperworks are now being reduced to computerized works now where every information plus files plus documents reports are being kept computer database right at any time we can go through it and the second point at uh, the benefit is reduction of manpower and workforce see students when the government uh, employs more people or workers when there was paperwork but now what happened few people or less workforce can be used to complete the task so it is quite advantageous and it has great uh, you know cost advantage as well as time advantage okay next we are moving to third number <clears throat> see students better service delivery under this e-governance what happens services can be uh, delivered in a quick process at the door point easily so this will make uh, public security and this will help the people to understand what the government is doing and it will make the information up to date for the people particularly in democratic form of government it is the better uh, point to allow <clears throat> or accept okay now see next fourth one is technical and supportive role see it is significant because this e-governance uses you know information and communication technology ict that can be used to create a um, paper uh, or at least paper office it is possible to store in email google drive okay so here entire information of the whole office is kept in one point that is in the hard disk of the computer which reduces the time as well as physical work all these things so this is a good technical support we are getting from here okay students next we are moving to number well, five students see number five is transparency means clarity in administration okay so this is the uh, you know biggest advantage we get from the e-governance because it is based on transparency 
uh, and that means openness and accountability that means responsibility of government you can feel here so this is said to be one of the advantage of you know this e governance and going to point number 6 that's economic development this is so happens that in this system of government all the information relating to market relating to products and relating to health education industries and other such economic affairs are being circulated to the people and it will reach to the remote area as a result of which you know it will encourage the uh, agricultural and industrial and other economic bodies to prosperous or progress quickly and at any time they can share the information and which will improve the economy of a country okay next we will go to the number 7 social development e governance also facilitates social development by which what happens you know the government becomes more citizen oriented and there is a greater participation of people we found here in decision making in program and policy formulation as well as uh, implementation plus monitoring that's why it's a benefit next number 8 is innovative role right innovating means creating or discovering something new so this governance can be used for innovative ideas it is also used to initiate new government services and new mechanism for improving service delivery so this is a advantage from you know e government and then comes change in the administrative culture number 9 point this is so here e government as a modern government it looks more open transparent accountable responsible citizen oriented on this basis what happens you know it is totally changing the traditional system of administration so administrative culture is found to be changed and it is also good that's why it's a an advantage now see the 10th point is elimination of hierarchy so elimination means removal hierarchy means our senior junior uh, line wise arrangement in various departments here what happens you know most of the time senior officers used to control or utilize the junior officers under their cadre so this thing is eliminated here so the official complexity or personal relations are undermined because everything is computerized and the communication pattern facilitated by ICT so this increases the efficiency and reduces the interdependence of the employees under the administrative system so this is a very good advantage of this or uh, so it is really significant we can say and the 11th and the last one is strategic information system here information system is quite strategically mane with complete systematic way carried on so which increases what you know uh increases uh, competitiveness right and uh, full performance of tasks and duties is possible here because of the uh, information system it has built up okay students thank you very much thank you very much for watching this is all about the meaning of e governance and the significance as well as the advantages today okay students thank you very much please like and subscribe